All right. Hello, everyone. I figured I'd just hop on like early, you know, because why not? Also, let me know if you can hear me okay, because I'm always paranoid about like microphones not working and shit. Hmm. <gasps> Hi, Steph. Oh, God, I miss you. I think we have a chat date today. <laughs> mm -hmm. I missed all of you. I miss you all. Um, but last week was really, really necessary. Um, I mean, I've taken like days off here and there, but pretty much since the pandemic really kicked off here, I haven't really like taken a full week off, you know? Even when we were moving across country, my fucking <laughs> ass was... <laughs> was still teaching classes. So yeah, this last week was really, really awesome. And I got to go kayaking and we went down the crystal clear springs here in my new home. And we got to see otters and I saw alligators. I didn't see any manatees, all sorts of birds. It was really fun. Hi, Beatrice. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, I want to flip up my, my view screen on my streaming camera. Hang on. That way I make sure I'm like doing the right thing. Okay. <laughs> So I'm really excited for class today um, for a few reasons, because you're here and I'm here. Um, but we're going to be doing hip openers, but we're going to be focusing specifically on our internal rotation and our adduction. Hi, sis. <laughs> so I feel like most people just think hip openers and they're like, oh, yeah, I open up and I open up. But... There's hip openers that we can do when we connect everything together um, and create adduction or bringing a limb into the midline of the body. Um, so hopefully your low back, your sacrum and all those spots may have like a really cool little breakthrough experience today. Yay. But also let me know in the chat if there's any other like little things that you just would love to have today because I come in with a plan, but I come in with a loose plan so that if I need to take away or add, that it's easy to do that. <laughs> and so if you think of anything, you can type it in the chat. And if you're working off of my Patreon live stream, but you want to participate in like the YouTube chat, I know there's a way for you to like open the live stream in YouTube proper. I'm going to get some more water. You should too. You should drink water today. Also, I feel like we should disturb Pi and we should just snatch her ass.
Yeah, you agree. You say, let's get pie. Okay, great. Let me go get her. <laughs> She's going to be so pissed. Pie. Your fans want to see you. I know, but you are so loved. Like everybody loves you so much and they want to see you. They want to see you. <laughs> okay. I know this is what we all came for. Ugh. 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 <sighs> Now, Pi has excellent external rotation in her hips. She likes to just be like this all day. But we don't really work on her internal rotations much, do we? Huh. You're more of a like let it all hang out kind of girl. Do, 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 do. Also, she gets the award for the most tolerant cat. If you're just logging on, welcome. <laughs> Pi, say hi. Hi. <laughs> say hi to your Auntie Melissa and your Auntie Beatrice. Yeah, because they love you. <laughs> Say hi to Annalisa. Hi. <laughs> You're so good. How did I get you? Sometimes I wonder, like, <laughs> I know this was all you needed, sis. <laughs> huh. Sometimes I wonder what I did to deserve this creature in my life. I must have been like some good karma. <laughs> yes, you are anti. Yes. Pi, you're being very tolerant today. Oh. Should we start class or should we wait a minute? Okay, let's wait a minute. Let's do this way. Let's do a little back bend. Back bending. Yeah, so if you're just logging on, welcome. Um, today in class, we're gonna be working on our internal rotations and our adductions to open up our outer hips. So if you have blocks, those will be really helpful for some of the moves. If not, we'll figure it out. Oh, Jesus, so hairy. Okay, I'll release you. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, <sighs> and that's a snowstorm right there. <laughs> oh God. This is like a cat allergy person's nightmare right here. <laughs> All right, so it's 12.31 my time, it's like 9.30 your time, or you're in Europe and it's like 5.30, 5.30 I think. <laughs> so let's get going. I'm gonna start at the top of the playlist. And you can follow the playlist or you don't have to. <gasps> Pi, Huxley says good morning. She's right behind me. <laughs> 5.31, okay, yeah, I've got it right. I know where y'all are. Okay, I'm gonna take my phone with me just in case I need to look at the time. And let's get started seated. 
Let's take inspiration from Pi and start in a seat. <laughs> oh, in Italy, it is much later. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, the mighty corner. It's just going to get greener. It's just going to get cooler. Are you ready? <laughs> so I'll have you sit crisscross applesauce. Oh. So whichever leg you feel is like more dominant, makes more sense putting that one in front. I have my blocks at the top of my mat because I feel like that's a good spot to put them. <sighs> and I'll have you sit up nice and tall. Release the shoulders down your back. Notice if you're kind of curling and contracting and lazy through the spine and try to sit up as tall as you can, opening up your chest. If there's any little movements you need to get out, feel free to take those, whether that's movement through the head and neck, shoulders. <sighs> Sometimes I like to move through my mouth. I like to yawn. I like to stick out my tongue. <sighs> Just getting that entire upper trunk warmed up. And we're gonna do five big breaths here together. <sighs> Feel free to make a little sound as you take those <sighs> exhales out of your mouth. Try to breathe three-dimensionally, not just to the front and the back, but to the side of your ribs. Sometimes I think of my sister. She's actually in this class. She's a really amazing opera singer, and she's the best at knowing how to breathe three-dimensionally, how to use her diaphragm. She teaches music classes to kids. It's basically the best. She should put her information in that chat when she's all done. <laughs> One more big breath here together. <sighs> And with your next inhale, let's take the arms all the way up above our head, stretching out through the lobes of our lungs, and then taking the hands to heart center. Good, now interlace your fingers, press your palms forward in front of you. So you're going internal rotation with your arms, and then sweep these arms up to the sky. Check in if you wore deodorant today, I didn't, and I can tell. <laughs> and then release the hands and let's circle out our wrists, slowly descending the arms all the way down to the ground. Good. Once they make it to the ground, sweep them back up again. Hands come to heart center. Interlace your fingers, press the palms forward, sweep them up to the sky. I just felt like Led Zeppelin was a good start for today. Good. Release and again, circle out the wrist, but try to go in the opposite direction that you did before. So if you did pinkies up, do thumbs up, yada, yada, yada. Fingertips make it down to the ground. Let's side body stretch up and over to your left hand side. You can stay on the fingers or you can take it all the way down to the forearm. As long as your right butt cheek is staying down to the ground, I don't mind. Now roll the right armpit down to the earth and then open it back up, trying to get as flat as you can. Again, right armpit down and then open it back up to the sky. I just realized I have like a whole bunch of singers in my class. So Stephanie Sakura is also an amazing music teacher. Ooh, good, let's take it all the way back up. And my friend Beatrice is in a heavy metal band. I sometimes can't believe what comes out of her mouth. It's incredible. All right, up and over towards your right hand side. Ooh, I feel like all people that are vocalists are like extra magical people. All right, turn your armpit down to the ground and open it back up. Two more. Good, now bring yourself all the way back up. Lean back like you're reclining in a chair just so you can unhook your legs from you. I'm gonna scoot down my mat a little bit and we're gonna roll down nice and slow. Now, I just like slammed a smoothie into my face, so this might be a little rough for me. Pick up your legs into reverse tabletop position, and let's cross your right leg over your left. If you can, you can hook the foot underneath your left calf. 
Arms come out to the side or down by your side, whatever you need. Now try to dip your left toe to the earth and bring it back up. Good, inhale, dip. And with your exhale, pull it up. So we're trying to get a little bit of abdominal activation. Plus it's like our first go with um, adduction. Keep the low belly drawing in, last three. Good, last two. Good, last one, legs come back to neutral. Unhook them and come into happy baby. Show the soles of your feet to the sky. Feel free to rock a little bit to extend a leg out. Get a little snap, crackle, pop maybe. <laughs> I'm going to try to pop all your little bits today. <laughs> I'm doing this without hands because I like touching my microphone. Oh, all right. Let's bring it back into that tabletop. Well, reverse tabletop. And we're going to do the other leg on top. So left goes on top. Maybe the foot hooks underneath. Arm positioning, whatever is more comfortable to you. Tap and lift. Now, every time the leg lowers down, squeeze your inner thighs, Kegel, engage your pelvic floor. Good, last three. Ooh. So good, last two. Nice work. Let's do one more, just because that feels right. Oh. And then unhook the legs and lengthen both of your legs up to the sky. Nice. Circle out your ankles and circle them into the other direction. Mm. Now, if your hamstrings are really tight, you can always hold on to your legs, but let's go over our rotations in our leg real quick. So just go hip width distance parallel, okay? Just moving your femur bone into your hip socket externally rotate the legs. So my toes are pointing out. Yeah. Bring it into neutral and then internally rotate. So turn your big toes towards each other. Oh, I got a cramp. Ooh, ooh. Bring it back to neutral, external rotation. Nice. Bring it back to neutral, internal rotation. Nice. Last time, external and internal. Good, now show me neutral. Let's do some fun shit. I want you to point your toes. Good, internally rotate the legs, but then bend your knees. Good, keep bending them. Attach the toes together at the bottom and open your knees external rotation. Extend your legs out to the side, big straddle, and then squeeze everything all the way up to the sky. Yeah, we're gonna do that again, okay? Internal rotation, bend into the knees, separate the legs. Attach the toes at the bottom, open your knees. Lengthen out through your legs, straddle. Squeeze it up. Let's go a little bit quicker than that, okay? Internal, toes, knees, lengthen. Squeeze up to the sky, keep going. Internal, separate. Toes, knees, lengthen. Squeeze it up to the sky. Three more on your own time. Yes, these are kind of some stripper antics, okay? Last time. Hold in that straddle and then flex your feet. Squeeze everything up to the sky and then repeatedly tap your heels together. Tap, 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 tap. Activate, 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 good. Eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two, and one. Relax and hug everything in. And then let's start rocking and rolling. Fingertips can go right behind your knee pits. But I want you to keep everything kind of uh, contracted. That way we're protecting our spine and we're not flopping our back onto the ground. If you have a spinal condition and this doesn't feel good, you can always roll off to one side. But let's go into tabletop position. 
Spread out your hands nice and wide, and let's move through cat cows, reaching your heart forward. Round and contract, navel to spine, chin to chest. Good, keep going through your cat cows. And know at any time, if you feel like changing that up, that can look like taking some full body circles, just moving into your hips. You can even do your cat cows on top of blocks, down on your forearms. It all feels a little different when you explore in that way. Last 10 seconds. And then let's take it into our first downward facing dog together. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. So in down dog, I don't, I'm, I'm not a big fan of thinking that heels to the ground is a, is a success story. I like to think about always keeping my heels up off the earth a little bit. Think about long spine being the most enticing part about this. Try to get your ears in alignment with your biceps. And if you need, you can always widen out through your hands or find more external rotation through your arms. Now let's lift up our heels, externally rotate the legs and come into a first position down dog. So heels together, just like you're in a dance class. Good, lift your heels and then internally rotate and try to work heels down. Good, let's do that one more time. Lift, first position down dog. And then lift, neutralize the femur bones, tightrope down dog, roll both heels over to your left hand side and try to push your chest back towards your shins. Good, same thing up and over to the other side, heels to the right, push back. Oh, kitty through the car wash. Take it all the way back up through center. And let's walk our hands all the way to the back of our mat. Oh, get the weight off of your wrists. Move a little bit side to side. Pai, if you try to eat a plant, I will snatch you and kiss you. <laughs> all right, let's roll ourselves all the way up to standing. <sighs> and reacclimate for a second. And we're gonna do a nice little warm up that I learned from my friend Amanda Murphy. She's so great. It's, I think it's Kundalini style because it's really nice to activate in this way. So my feet are parallel, they're neutral. I'm gonna reach my arms up to the sky. And then with my exhale, I'm gonna bend my knees and go sweeping my arms behind me, yeah? Inhale back up and Good, keep going like that. Pai, don't eat my bamboo palm. I will beat your ass. Oh, I don't scare you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> keep going, big inhales, big sweep through. Yes, last five, last four. Good, three, nice, two, and one. All the way up and take the hands back to heart center. Reacclimate for a moment. And I want us to come into a very intentional space because doing this type of practice is intentional in its nature. And so if you need to focus on a single word, a single intention, something larger for the community, larger for the world, create that space right here almost like a body prayer. That's what we're doing right here. Breaths in. Breaths out. <laughs> so good, sweep your arms up to the sky. And with your exhale, forward fold, take it all the way down to the mat. Halfway lift, lengthen. And with your exhale, fold. Now let's take a twist, bend your left knee, lengthen out the right, reach your right arm up to the sky. And let's switch, right hand down, 
Right knee bends, left leg long, left arm reaches up to sky. All right, take it back down to the ground. And let's crawl ourselves forward into a high plank. And I want you to pause in this high plank. Know at any time that you can lower your knees down to the ground if you're not feeling like taking a high plank today. You can always still work your external rotation in the arms, your protraction across the shoulder blades, and your core contraction even here. Breathe with me for five, for four. Last two and one, lift it up and back, downward facing dog. Heels nice and high, bend your knees, look forward. Step both of your feet behind your wrists. Locate both of your blocks and let's bring them on their highest level. Hands are right on top here. Now heel toe your feet together until your big toes touch. Cross your right leg directly behind the left. Keep your heels on the ground, but bend your left knee. Yeah, see how I just dropped it like that? Walk your hands over to the left-hand side. Feel that stretch in the outside of your right hip. <sighs> Brutal. Pie, I need moral support. Thank you. <laughs> her version of moral support is showing me her butthole. All right, let's walk it back to center. Uncross your legs. Recross, let's do the other side. Bend into the right knee, lengthen the left leg, walk both blocks over to the right. Again, the elongation of the left leg, the sassiness of the hips is what's creating this outer hip release. Walk your blocks back to center, uncross the legs. Bend into your knees, hands at heart center, chair position. Good. Now zip the inner thighs together. Everything's squeezing here. Either you're holding still static work or you're activating a little more and taking these little bounces. Now something to notice, is your tailbone rounding down? I want to create a neutral tailbone here, not posterior, neutral. And I know there's a lot of schools of thought and Ashtanga teacher, a Hatha teacher, a Vinyasa teacher are all going to tell you different shit. And it doesn't mean that they're wrong and I'm right. Okay. There's just different ways to approach all these different shapes. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Stand all the way up, reach your arms up to the sky, squeeze and elongate the tailbone, feel that difference and then forward fold, take it down. Good, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into a high plank if my cat allows me. <laughs> Shift forward, bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lengthen through the arms, open up the chest, or you can do low cobra if this is too intense. Down dog, lift the hips all the way up and back. <sighs> Reset with a breath in and a breath out. We're gonna do this two more times, moving more breath to movement. Lift up your heels high, bend your knees, look forward. Travel to the top of your mat, you can step, you can hop, but we're gonna go big toes closer. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Bend into your knees, chair position, arms can be up. Sit a little bit deeper, inhale. Exhale, come all the way up to standing. Sweep your arms, inhale. Forward fold, take it all the way down to the mat. Again, reset, halfway lift. Fold to plant chaturangas if you wanna take them or know that you can always skip them. This goddamn cat. I'm always moving my life around her. <laughs> I'm kidding, baby, I love you. Reset with a breath in and a breath out. Heels nice and high, bend your knees, look forward. Travel to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair position, hands up or hands at heart center. Sink a little bit deeper. And then exhale, coming all the way up to Samas Dittihi, arms by side body. So Ashtanga style Samas. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky, Utita Hasta and Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Arda, halfway lift. 
Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to mid. Know that you can take jump backs if you want to. Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Now let's go into three-legged dog. Oh, right leg is going to lift up. Now I want you to imagine your right leg is like a shark fin. I want you to move it over to the left and out to the right without losing the stability of your hips. Good, straight to the left, straight to the right. So we're doing our adduction and abduction. Last two and one. Neutral, lift it up higher, open the hip, bend your knee. Now square off the hip, lengthen the leg. Pull your knee towards your nose, step through low lunge. Rise into a high crescent here. So it's like you're on skis. Hip with distance apart, right leg forward, left leg back. Arms up to the sky. Take a breath in. And with your exhale, open up into a warrior two. I always like to deepen for my warrior two. I really like to heel toe my left foot back. Arms reach into a T. Squeeze your butt cheeks, yeah? Notice if your leg is shifted forward. Although that's nice and strengthening for the quad, I want you to get into your hips here. Flip right palm, reverse. Good. And with your exhale, take it back to two. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reverse. And with your exhale, two. Last time, inhale, reverse. Listen. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose. Lengthen out through the right leg. Right hand can rest on your shin bone if you need. It can also come onto a block. You can also work all the way to the earth. Try to open up your chest to the sky. Energy line through your fingers. Yeah, big breath in. Exhale, bring yourself all the way up, but keep these legs nice and straight. Pivot your toes to parallel and hinge yourself halfway, arms out to the side. Lean to the left, lean to the right. Yeah, you can micro bend your knees if straight legs is not comfortable for you. Oh yeah, last three. We're gonna take it all the way to the left in two and one. All the way to the left, let's work into a low lunge. Now heel toe your left foot wider, like to the outer edge. And we're gonna work into our deepest lunge today. <clears throat> so right knee can come down to the earth, it can stay floating. You can be up on your hands. You can be down to your forearms. If you're super lizardy, you can even take your chest really close to the earth. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit crazier, <laughs> You can also wrap your left arm around the front of the leg. Two more breaths. Nice work. Let's bring it all the way up to our hands. Back toe is tucked. If it isn't already, let's elevate through the right knee. Step your left foot back, chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Nice. All right, left leg lifts. And think shark tail, take it internal to external. Add it, abduct it. So a whole new way to think about this, huh? The whole point is to throw you off balance a little bit. Now take it all back to neutral, lift it up a little higher and open up the hip. We're building our little skeleton. Square everything off, pull knee to nose, big step through low lunge. Up into your high crescent we go. Oh, that feels so good. Whew. Arms reaching up ahead. Again, you're on your skis. One's forward, one's backwards. 
Breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Now I like to think of my left heel in alignment with my inner arch, but something different could feel better for you, okay? Flip your left palm. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, take it back to your two. Again, inhale, reverse. Ooh, that smoothie. Exhale, two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale into your trikonasana. Lengthen out through your left leg. Left arm down, right arm high. Energy lines out through your right side fingertips. We're not relying on the flexibility of our inner thigh. We're trying to rely on the strength of our pelvis. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring yourself all the way up. Now, pivot your feet towards the edge of the mat. Hinge from that hip line. And again, moving side to side, either with the arms out or arms hugged in by your side. Good. Last five. Ewa. Last three. Two. And one. Take it all the way to the front of your mat. And let's adjust into our wide low lunge. So my foot is to the outside of my hand. I'm trying to really get space into the front line of my body. And try to just copycat whatever you did on the first side. I know that we're all a little asymmetrical, a little open on one side, a little tight on the other, so things can look different from side to side. <laughs> if you tried this more, which I'm gonna make even more difficult later, internally rotating the arm and wrapping it around the front of the leg. Oh. Now let's bring ourselves back up onto our hands. Woo. We'll tuck the back toe, elevate the hip, step back, and again, your options for chaturangas. Mm. All right, exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Nice work, everyone. So we're gonna go through this again, but we're gonna go from a whole different entry point. So we'll lift our heels, bend our knees, look forward, travel to the top of your mat, halfway, and with your exhale, fold. Chair position, let's just go hands to heart center. Pick up your left leg and create eagle on the right. Now your foot can be off to the side. It can hook around the back of the leg. You could even balance it on top of a block to the outside of your foot. So there's a lot of ways you can make these eagles accessible. And we're just doing half of one. We're just doing one underneath ourselves. Now, instead of leaning forward, try to create a really flat back and then go down, yeah? Posterior tilt, zip. It's almost like you're in a wall sit, but a wall sit from hell, okay? Last three, last two. Whoo, these always make me so hot. Or maybe I just live in the south. Last one, lift all the way up, single-legged mountain. And then big step to the back of your mat. Mm, high crescent, nice. Now listen up, wrap your right arm under your left and create eagle arms. Yay! Now lean forward, pull the elbows in towards your tummy and then lift it up, maybe even get a little back bend. I hope I'm not smothering the microphone in my boobs. Keep going, squeeze. I won't go as hard. Even though my boobs would love to teach the class for me today. <laughs> Can you imagine? A class taught by a boob. Ah, oh, that's what you're already getting in here. Okay, lift it all the way up. Release the arms into your warrior two. Nice, inhale, reverse. Exhale, let's go all the way to side angle. Mm-hmm, inhale, reverse. Wee. Exhale, side angle. Whew. Last time, inhale, reverse. 
This time, let's go into our trikonasana. Lengthen. You guys are so good. So good. I love you so much. <laughs> let's bring it all the way back up. Parallel. Take it into your halfway point and then work all the way down to the ground. Now try to internally rotate through your legs so your toes are pointing in towards each other. Feel free to grab for the outsides of your ankles. You can bring your forehead onto the ground. It's really up to you what feels good. When I have this internal rotation, I feel like I'm trying to rip my mat in half. So there's hella activation happening. <sighs> Belly breath in. And out. So good. Halfway lift. Pivot yourself to the back of your mat. Back into that wide lunge again. Deep into the hips wherever you went before. Now I talked about that crazy wrapping version and I wanna break that down and give you one more little step to go further, okay? This is gonna be really hard from standing. <laughs> Leg is up. You're gonna wrap it around the front. It's gonna weave inside and you're gonna bind from behind. So you're doing all this, but in a lunge on the ground, yeah? It's crazy. It's a crazy, okay? Whew. Ooh. So I basically have to bring my head to the ground or sometimes, ooh, I'm able to get my chest. But I usually feel like I'm falling over when I do that. Ooh. All right, there we go, we got it. All right, my little lizardy cuties. Let's press back up to our hands. Lift up the hips and go into your three-legged. Open up your hip, bend into your knee. If you want, drop this leg behind you. Press your hips up to the sky, open up front line of body. Yes. Take it back to the ground. Pull left knee to right tricep and extend it out to the side. Nice. Open up, reach right arm up to the sky. I know this is tough. Return back down to the ground. We did this in our slow flow, it's really fun. Lower the hips all the way down to the ground. Open up into a straddle. Ah, side body stretch up and over to the right. So good. Take it all the way up, side body stretch over to your left. Good, take it all the way back up. Bend into your right knee, kind of getting it a little bit out of your way. Pivot towards the front, step back, downward facing dog. Amazing, let's do all that on the other side. Heels high, bend your knees, look forward, travel. Halfway lift, exhale fold. Chair position, hands at heart. Just your eagle legs, that's it. Right leg comes over the left. Foot can hook, block can be underfoot. Arms are doing nothing, just hanging out right here. Lengthen your tailbone, sit deeper, compress, be like an anaconda, squeeze those legs together. <sighs> Flat spine, this is how, ooh. These eagles should feel. Last three, last two, and one. Bring yourself up single-legged mountain. Zing! Big step, back of your mat, high crescent. Now let's create your eagle arm. Left goes underneath the right. Again, I'm gonna try to not muffle my microphone. There, there we go, okay. Now pull the elbows in, lean forward, contract, and lift it up. Maybe you get a little back bendy. 
pull it in and lift it up. Now I know this class says back to basics, but basics are hard. <sighs> lift it up, release, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. You know class is hard when my poof starts dismantling. Ooh, those hips. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose. Left arm down, right arm high. You guys are so amazing. Stay right here with me. Again, think about becoming flat, opening up your left nipple to the sky. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale, bring yourself all the way up. Ooh. Pivot your toes, nice and open here. Let's hinge from the hips all the way down into your forward fold. Mm. Now again, you can work that internal rotation. You can be neutral. External rotation doesn't really do too much here. But if you would like to really rock your shit for a second, I'm gonna grab a block for this. I'm gonna press up onto that left block with my left hand, flex my right foot, and wrap my peace fingers around my right big toe. Bend into the left knee a lot, walk the block out, lift up the leg, and take it out to the side. Ooh, I only wanna do it for three, for two, and one, take it back down. Ooh, that's gnarly, okay. I did it on the other side, so that means I have to do it on my left. <laughs> Wrapping my peace fingers around my left big toe. Block out to the side, bend right knee, lift. This is how you build those outer butt muscles. Beatrice, we were going over this, right? <sighs> it's those abductors that are building. <sighs> All right, take it back down. <sighs> This class is hard. Okay, walk it to your OG front where your right foot is. Open up, work down into that deep lunge. What time is it? Ooh, we're almost to the end. Nice. Okay, now, if you did that super crazy lizard wrapping around the front, Weave under the leg and then bind on top. This little bind is not for the faint of heart. Okay, my little lizards, let's get out of here. That's our last big flow. And then we go on to the little tiny puzzle pieces, okay? Let's lift right leg up to sky. Open up your hip. If you did it on the other side, drop it behind. Push your hips up to the sky. Woo! And then take it back through. Right knee, left tricep, extend out. Ooh. Left arm up to sky. I love this one. Now a little slow flow move. Lower the hips, straddle. Side body stretch up and over to your left. Yes. And then take it up and over to your right. Now bring yourself all the way back up and we'll bend into our right leg. Almost like you're in like a pigeon, but instead of your left leg behind you, it's out to your left hand side. <laughs> Pivot and step back. Now we're facing dog. All right, now let's tiptoe you to the top of your mat, forward fold. And we're gonna roll you all the way up to standing. Okay, so here's our last thing that we're going to do in here today. 
We're going to work our full eagles. Then we're going to take it to the ground, do a sacrum release, and do a cow facing pose. It's going to be cool. All right. As cool as that sounds. Now, left foot is going to be your balancing leg here. Lift up the right leg. Bend into the standing leg. Wrap right over left hook. Left arm is going to go underneath your right. These are your eagle arms. So we're bringing all the concepts together here. Now try to get really compressive. Squeeze like a little snake. For an extra little piece, round forward. As much as you want to round forward. Good, sometimes when I round forward like this, I like to release my left arm down and my right arm up. Ooh, that's hard. All right, let's bring you all the way back up. Ooh, right leg comes up, release your arms. Good, try to get the foot. You can grab onto the toe outside and move into your revolved Padagustasana. Last three. Ooh, last two and one. Release this foot. Listen, I know this is so rude. Right hand down to the ground, revolved half moon. Lengthen through the left leg. Open up chest to your left. Strong right leg, you see that? Ha! Reaching left arm up to the sky. If you want an extra piece, bend, grab, and kick. How did we get here? Last three, two, and one. Can you bring it all the way up even though your left foot wants to fall off? And bring it down. Oh, oh God damn. Do you guys feel that? Ooh, know that your foot's gonna be okay. Because your foot has muscles too. We want all those to get strong, right, Pi? Okay. <laughs> she agrees. So let's do the other side. <laughs> I got to see what Beatrice said. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all right, here we go. Right side, and then we're done. Ah, left leg lifts. Cross it over. Hook it. Ooh. Right arm underneath the left. <sighs> Try to get flat. Think wall sit. <laughs> you know that it's totally normal to fall out of this. Compress. <sighs> I'm sweating. Now pull it in, round it out. Sometimes when I get here, I like to release. Working right arm down. <laughs> this is so hard. And left arm high. <sighs> Good. Take it up. Ooh. Release it. Revolve Padagustasana. Let's go. Kick it and rotate it. Pi is here for moral support. And then here we go. From here, all the way to revolved half moon. Left hand down, right arm high. <sighs> Strong left leg for the extra piece. Grab the back foot. Last three, two, and one. Bring it all the way up. <sighs> and release it down. And let that feeling in your right foot dissipate. My goodness. I don't know about you guys, but I am, I am sweaty. Okay. Oof. Now let's take ourselves all the way down to the ground from here. I'm gonna go into Malasana first. I feel like after all that internal and squeezing, I like to be here. I like to be here. So let's take a second here in a Malasana.
I love this song. I really like ASAP Rocky. Okay. Let's take ourselves down to the ground. Ooh. <sighs> and slowly roll yourself down. Now, we're going to do one of my favorite low back releases. Even if you don't feel like a pop or a, an adjustment, I want you to just keep this in your arsenal, trying it when you feel a little stuck in your, lum, in your um, lumbar and low back sacrum area, okay? So I want you to take your legs reverse, wrap them over, okay? Now, hooking the foot underneath is going to be really helpful when you do this. Make sure your knees are over your hips and try to create a long spine by long, just natural lumbar curve situation. Now, even though your legs are interlaced, try to pull them apart. Oh, I feel it like right at my sacrum, right in my little pubic symphysis. I know me and Sarah Hasse were talking about um, her feeling unstable at that spot. All right, now squeeze the inner thighs together, pull everything in. Squeeze, 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 and release. <sighs> yeah. All right. Let's do the other side. Wrap the left over the right. Hook. Knees right over your hips. Sometimes you gotta see it to believe it, right? Long spine, try to pull the legs apart. I actually did it this morning and got a pop, so I'm not gonna get a pop right now. Ooh. And then do the opposite. Squeeze everything together as hard as you can. Ooh. And release. <sighs> Rock side to side, get a little twist. I always pop when I twist. And let's rock ourselves all the way up to a seat. And we're gonna finish off with hero's pose. Yay, heroes. If you're still here, Annalisa, you're doing it again. Yay. <laughs> There's actually two Annalisas in here now. The Italian and the American. All right. So I'm working my knees together, my feet are out. For some folks, this is not accessible. So you can always stick a block underneath you, even stick two blocks underneath you. Yay. Now, the intention is to get your quads open. Now, we do want your knees to stay on the ground for this, but they can open up to about hip width distance. Try to move your calf flesh out of your way. And I want you to create a post to your tilt, so really contract into your spine here. And if you need it, starting to walk yourself back. A good marker that your feet are in the right position, you should be able to see the bottoms of your feet very clearly. So they're not like rolled inwards and pointed out. Your toes are pointing straight back towards you, okay? Now, even here, I always like to check the tuck of my tailbone and I can really feel it in my quads. For even more, taking it down to the ground. Hi, Pi. Do you have anything you want to say to the people? No, she just wants to sniff. And that's okay. Now, if you're all the way back here on your shoulders, I do like to bring my arms above my head and grab for opposite elbows. All right. 
Now, if you're all the way down on your back, I'm going to grab for my heels, push my elbows into the ground, ugh, and walk myself all the way back up to my seat. To release what's going on in your knees, because this is a high amount of flexion, let's just do one down dog here. <sighs> Bend into the knees, wiggle the hips out a little bit. And then let's take our knees back down to the ground and work your inner thighs together. Now I'm gonna give you two versions of, cat, of um, cow facing, one on the ground here and one on your back. I'm gonna cross right leg behind left, open up my ankles and again, have a seat between my heels. Again, you can have blocks underneath your butt or if you need the ground version. Same thing, you're here, just holding on to your shins, feet, or even underhand grip the feet, long spine. So whenever and however you feel the hip opening, that's what I'm going for. So imagine if we were on our backs right now, the way that we would feel it more would be by having the legs closer to us. So from this seated position, you can move forwards. <sighs> Hi, Pi. Come here. And we're going to spend five more breaths here and then we're gonna switch. All right, if you're on your back doing this, switch sides, so cross opposite leg on top. If you're with me seated, walk yourself back up. I like to come forward from here and switch. And then we'll do the other side. You're almost there. I'm gonna move to our second to last song. So before I fold, I always take a second, <sighs> making sure my sit bones are nice and rooted. <sighs> if you're on the ground, think about creating a long spine and again, either accessing your shin bones, top of ankles, or underhand grip on the feet. And breathe. Last two breaths. And if you're seated, walk yourself up. If you're on the ground, release. And we'll meet you on your back. Mm. So 
So we're gonna find our final position here on the ground. For me, a shape I really like doing after all that is Baddha Konasana. So your supta or reclining bound angle. Hmm. I'm gonna do a block supported one. That sounds great. That way my knees can rest on something. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Hmm. And we're gonna spend this remaining three minutes right here, solidifying all the work we did in this class. Soften your jaw. Slide your shoulders down your back. Now start to deepen your breath. And perhaps stretch yourself out, extending yourself out long. Reaching yourself 12 to six o'clock. And then rolling off to one side. Push yourself up and find a comfortable seat. Hmm. I wanna let you all know how proud I am of you and how honored I am that you trust me with your body. Uh, thank you so much for coming to class today and I hope I see you again at some time this week. Thank you. Oh, Holly. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Those release cries are so good. <laughs> Thank you, Beatrice. Beatrice is one of my newest friends. We talk almost every day now. <laughs> but you should check out her art on Instagram, her photography. I think it's Beatrice Mariano Photography. That's your IG handle, I think. So amazing and such an amazing, talented singer. Thanks, Annalisa. Thanks, Stephanie, Melissa, Ashley. <gasps> Pie. Thanks, Elle. <laughs> I know, such a good way to start a Monday, right? <laughs> yes, Annalisa. <laughs> Come here, pie. Scoop. Scoop. 
scoop the baby. Thought I saw some schmutz. Let me see your face. Okay, you're fine. I thought I saw flea dirt on her and it like terrified me. No fleas in this house, huh? We don't let them. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming. Oh, that felt so good. I really needed that. My camera's like, I can't see you. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. You can always chat them and I'm happy to break something down or explain something more. Explain something less. Maybe you want me to shut up for once in my life. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should probably tell you what classes I'm doing this week. <laughs> okay, let's see. On Wednesday, I'm dropping a recording, um, Inversions for Beginners Part 2. So I'm going to be putting up drills and little things you can do to build strength for doing forearm stand or pincha. Also funky pincha, so asymmetrical pincha. And then on Friday, we're doing goth bar. So... I've been doing one goth bar a month. It's really, really fun. So Friday night, we'll be doing that. That's 5 o'clock p.m. East, sorry, 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, <laughs> 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And it's in the middle of the night for you, Europe. But don't worry because I'm scheduling on the 1st of May a Saturday power flow. So instead of doing a Friday class like I normally do, I wanted to do a Saturday class. So May 1st at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 5.30 p.m. I'll just say Portugal because I'm thinking of Beatrice. Um, a little bit later in Italy. We'll be doing a power flow. Kamar will be here. So we'll be doing all sorts of fun stuff in that. Um, so I'll be posting links and everything on that. I can't decide if I want to do the power flow on Zoom or on YouTube. So I'll let you know. So Holly, every time I post classes, I post them up in Patreon, usually like day of. So especially for live classes, like today I released it like an hour before I try to do that. Or if it's like goth bar, I usually post it the day before so that more people can see it. Um, yeah. And then all the pre-recorded ones, again, just they release and they'll be in there. Mm, thank you. And I'm excited to get back into some like, I want to do some more podcasting again. I want to rebrand my, pro my podcast a little bit. Me and my partner uh, made our office into like a pod void. So we bl painted it all black yesterday. Looks really cool in there. So I'm really excited to do some content with a black background. <laughs> That'll be so nice. I would show you, but my camera setup is real precarious right now. <laughs> it's so many lights. There's like five lights up right now. <laughs> but uh, I love you all so much. I'm going to put some more food in my body because it's important to do that. And I'm here for questions that you can think of later. <laughs> all right, folks. I'm going to end the stream. I love you all so much. And I'll see you hopefully later this week. <laughs>